what is happening guys long time no see i hope you enjoyed the halloween special from last time if you haven't seen it have a look back today's training is going to be mainly a three hour ride with a 30 minute run off i just came out of the pool it's 11 a.m now uh, earlier i went at eight o'clock with a friend uh, just a nice 3k swim with some activations and stuff nothing crazy aerobic mainly but uh, today i thought we're gonna go actually here on the indoor and have a nice session here but changed my mind because i saw it's actually only six degrees celsius and i have the right uh, clothing for it so i can ride outdoors still it's still looking all right if you want to have a look so it's still it's still no snow here so that's great i can still ride on the roads i put all the gear on and have a nice three hour ride outdoors then the most important part of today will be the closing Then for the head, I don't have a proper beanie. I do have one. If it's getting really cold, I can use this one. I'll take that with, but I normally just use one of the booths here for the head, because yeah, the, so you're still gonna be quite warm. Then I'm gonna use actually overshoes as well. So for the feet, the feet are of course the biggest one, and the hands, I have those here for the hands. And uh, for three hours, I think should be all right. It's six degrees, I hope. But uh, yeah, in the shoes, I could put aluminium foil and like plastic and all that stuff, but I hope for the three are right, it will be right. But uh, we'll see in the runoff how the feet are. Then nutrition wise, for this ride I aim for 60 grams of carb an hour, the usual mix, as some of you guys know. So just like water bottles here, I use literally straight up sugar, most cost effective one. So like one spoon is I know 20 grams of carbs, so one, two, So that's 180 grams. Then I need the sodium as well. I'm still gonna be sweating, especially under the clothing. You do evaporate a little bit less. I use 500 milligrams of sodium per liter of sweat. So I'll just make sure I have at least enough for the three hours. So visibility on the bike is something I'm really picky with. For example, this color wise is really not the best dark. I would love to have something in orange, uh, but I don't have that for winter clothing. But uh, then I get to compensate with the lights for sure. So really bright LED lights that you're always visible. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people who never had an accident or something serious happened or happened or heard of something that some, somebody had something happen, they're kind of like going the stealth mode. I really just have to shake my head, I just see the nevity in it because I think they never had an accident, which I hope they never will. But literally, there are a lot of people on the road and maybe you're the one watching that I have a black bike, everything black from top to bottom. And I know I agree, it does look cool, it really is nice, but it's literally your chance of ending up crashing or being hit by a car are increased by I don't know how many percent ridiculous amount so you're not even visible to a cyclist to and if it gets a little bit dark or even not in a forest you know you're switching to a forest a car might not see you and then that's the end of your journey so anyways stay safe out there get yourself some stupid simple LED lights for the bike please for Christmas just do it you know all about consistency and uh, not crashing is one of them So 
So as uh, the guys that are following my journey intensely know, I started integrating high intensity work again on the bike, the 500 watt reps. And although I only have done them for a few weeks, I can tell massively how that changed my ability to go over hills. For example, small hills, but when you think about it, forget about the fancy terms with view to max and all. Just think about if your body is used to producing 500 watts and you go over a hill and there's let's say briefly 400, the body just isn't shocked. I think that kind of simple approach system works so well. Because I remember when I used to go over hills, and you probably know it when you go over a small bump, your legs and body get this small moment of like, ooh, like a little low kind of like, ooh, just took a little bit of an effort, even if it's just 10 seconds, but then you're back. But that, ooh, I don't have anymore. On a bit different note, I just thought about it that sometimes we stress so much in life about what is coming next, the future, the past. So that's something I at least believe, some say it's luck. So there are two camps. The one camp says, hey, this is luck. The other side, this is destiny or faith. And I believe more on the side of, hey, we just, uh, each of us are on a road and we are on the road and we just have to go along that road. There will be lots of ups, lots of downs. After an up, you can be sure there will be down. But also when you're down, you can be sure from there, it will go up. And life works in funny ways, interesting ways. We just had something happening in my family this year that was challenging, but also something now that might change everything for my next year. Also just came up, but I'll keep you posted if anything happens on that front. But to finish up on that, I really believe into setting a big vision for yourself, a big goal, a big dream, break it down into goals. And it has to be out of your reach to some extent. If it's something that you know you can do, it's, it's not going to be hard enough. It has to be scare you to some extent. It has to push you to a limit mentally to even like, how can I do this? I, I want to set myself and I believe I believe firmly in manifestation that if you manifest something into your life and you say hey I am a world champion or anything that you want to do like from day one and the master of that and the proof that it works there are lots of them there where you see that it works and it all started with the mind but a great one is Conor McGregor the old one there are two shows on Netflix which I can cannot recommend highly enough general for example my season hasn't been good at all in terms of racing I couldn't show what I did in training training has been improving really nicely but racing didn't really show that at all and then the small-minded people come to you like some of them and like they're like hey, are you okay man you didn't have the best season are you gonna do another season of that man shut the hell up you really don't know me at all this was my first attempt man failure means nothing it's just one of many attempts and you do as many attempts as it takes and keep trying. Hey guys, have a little uh, pit stop, a little coffee stop. Uh, just heat up a bit, we're halfway there. Getting a little bit refreshed, but uh, the warm coffee was really good, so let's get going again. Last 90 minutes.
We are 10 minutes in. Legs feel good. Heart rate is nice and low. Also the lungs for the cold air was an issue. So I had asthma for many years, so cold air can be an issue, but I adapted to it through a couple of cold runs already, so lungs get used to it as well. Alright guys, made it home in one piece. It was a good session, good day. Thanks for following along, always motivating. I hope you guys are well, have a good training. Subscribe if you liked the video and I'll see you in next week's video. See ya!